Hello, welcome to my channel kajidataonline.com. Thanks for joining us today. So, I'm Ismail. We are going to review a statistical concept. So, for those who are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe to get the latest news about the SPSS and statistical analysis for your data. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so let us begin with our first um, objective for the day. So, in this particular um, lecture, you are going to learn about the statistics. Um, you are going to able describe the basic statistical concept, um, how to uh, how to differentiate for scale of measurement, and last but not least is to matching the appropriate statistical measures for the appropriate statistical manner based on the data, samples, and purposes of the statistical analysis. So as uh, defined, the statistical analysis is actually defined as two meaningful ideas. The first one is statistics refers to numerical facts and uh, statistics also refer to the groups of methods used in uh, making informed decisions, you know. Sometimes we collect the data and based on that particular data, we're trying to analyze and present it and interpret it according to the needs of our initial investigations or research. Uh, beside the research kind of mechanism, data also is widely being used nowadays in the IR 4.0 to enhance the more quality quality decision being made in the certain organizations. Okay, so bear in mind that the role of the statistical analysis is not a magic, but actually the statistic is only a tool that are going to help you to make decisions is whether you are going to use the descriptive statistics to look into the visual analytics of your data or you are trying to establish a certain assumption and testing a certain hypothetical judgment um, where we call it as the inferential statistics and based on these uh, particular tools you can get the information and uh, certain judgment um, in terms of making your decisions whether to do this to do that and what kind of the impact after you make this kind of decision okay so type of statistic is generally divided into three components we call it as the um, descriptive or inferentials in terms of the purpose that's mean if you got uh, a series of data and then you are just only want to describe the nature of the data based on the mean, mode, median in terms of their central tendency. That one we call it as the descriptive analysis. And besides, we also know we also want to know about the dispersions of the data. Um, for example, we want to know the variance, the standard deviations, and so on. They all are covered under the purpose of the descriptive statistics. Whereby we have another uh, kind of statistical analysis, we call it as the inferential statistics, where we test the argument or we test the assumptions that we made uh, based on a certain assumptions, whether um, it is a parametric assumptions or non-parametric assumptions. Um, this assumptions testing or we call it an inferential statistic is based on the uh, tabulations of data whether our data is normally tabulated or our data is not normally tabulated and um, another types of hypothesis sorry another types of um, statistical analysis is for the uh, testing for certain variables for example you have uh, one variables we call it as a new variate we got uh, bivariate analysis or we call it as a bivariate and then you got more than two usually we call it as the multivariate analysis so generally speaking in any data analysis being performed we got a populations and we got a sample so the purpose that you collect the sub samples or a subsets of populations or we call it as the samples is where we want to make an inference of these statistical measures to reflect back to our parameters that we infer to our populations so therefore the sampling procedure against the population is one of the very important mechanisms to make sure that the the statistical inference that you made in this particular process it's going to be um, generalized or it's able to uh, represent the conditions of this uh, population so this is the symbols and the measures according to the specific statistical um, meaning uh, examples number of cases mean variance standard deviations and also correlation coefficient and then um, this is also 
covered under the type of samples where we have a probability and non probability sample which is um, going to be explained in other videos and then this is uh, one simple kind of variables uh, relationship between the independence and the dependent variables where we have the factor here and then we got the um, dependent uh, variables or we call it as the outcome so based on this outcome based on these um, factors we want to identify whether there is a relationship or there is some uh, associations or there is some influential factors of all these things that might contribute to the quality of life as our dependent variable so this is the uh, generally the simplest model to explain about the outcome uh, based on the certain factors exposed and then we have also a complex um, research concept research concept framework where we have the other variables such as the intervening variables, control variables and so on. So generally speaking, in uh, when we talk about the statistical concept, uh, we have two types of variable. We, the first one we call it as a quantitative and the second one we call it as a qualitative or categorical variables. So um, in statistical techniques also, you must remember that we have uh, two approaches to gather our data. The first one is by doing a primary data collections where you personally or you uh, individually involve in these particular data collection processes where you have a questionnaire you ask a lot of people and then they make some responses so all these things we call it as the primary data collection and then um, we also have the secondary data collections where you gathered all this data from the hospital databases for example you got from the external um, data repository data archive and all these things we made some sort of um, cleaning uh, filtering and then uh, we project this data for further analysis so this this is one of the techniques when you talk about the data analysis in the future okay we also have uh, several tools for collecting data examples uh, will be telephone survey mail questionnaire and so on so um, basically majority of current uh, new technology we um, focus more on the online questionnaire rather than the telephone survey mail survey or any other observations because it is costly and then last uh, and then guys, um, now we are in the midst of understanding about the scale of measurements. When we talk about scale of measurements, you have to understand that in uh, any data that we intend to analyze in SPSS or any statistical package, usually it's already been defined as these four different quadrant or these four different categories. The first one, we call it as a nominal scale. This is the lower scale or the very superficial scale where we do not have a specific order, we do not have any uh, specific meaningful, it's just a category um, that we that we have. For example, gender, we have male and we have female where uh, it's already being seat or it's already being justified as according to their category. And then we have another scale of measurement, we call it as the ordinal scale, where the data is actually being assigned by ranking order. This is usually talking about the Likert scale or Likert-like scale, where we can arrange it from the lowest to highest or vice versa. And then we have the interval ratio scale. The interval ratio scale is being recognized in the SPSS as the scale data. This is also called a quantitative data. Uh, the differences when we talk about the interval and ratio scale is talking about the absolute zero, whether it is represented in the data sets or is not being represented in the data set. I'm going to explain about the interval and ratio scale uh, furthermore in the other slides and also in the other chapters. Okay, this is the idea when we have the data being collected, we have a nominal until the um, interval ratio scale. But the most prominent and the most important idea when you want to collect samples of data, make sure that you focus on the interval ratio scale rather than you um, consider the nominal or ordinal scale in the first place. Okay, this is the examples of variable attributes and value. Variables, attributes and value is one of the ideas that usually being explained after this in the SPSS data analysis workshop where we talk about the variable example ethnicity we have a different attributes name as mild Malay Chinese Indian and so on and because of the SPSS is one of the statistical package that recognize numbers as the as the main idea for analyzing those data therefore the values is very important to be taught to be addressed in the SPSS settings to 
ensure that the SPSS can run over it and um, define further about your attributes. For example, you talk about I want to know about the frequency of ethnicity, then the SPSS are going to count those number one, those number two, those number threes and represent it into the conditions of frequency and um, percentage later on in our output. So um, we also have the determination of scale based on the two types of questions. The first one you need to ask whether your data is numeric or non-numeric based on the order or based on the zero. So this is where we classify our hierarchy of the scale of measurement where the best will be the ratio and the least or we call it as the lowest scale of measurement will be uh, as nominal scale. This is the examples of the measurements for this particular variable so you can pause it for a while and look into it and also comment accordingly whether you agree or not agree based on the scale of measurement as the examples. Okay, let us look into the overview of the statistics. So generally speaking, in any major research concern, we are going to describe our phenomena. We are going, we are going to make uh, comparisons and we are going to determine the relationship whether using the chi-square uh, correlation test or regression test. So based on these three different um, ideas, we are going to discuss further uh, about how using FPSS in describing the phenomena, making a comparison and also testing for the relationship. And we're also going to use the SPSS or any statistical package to inside my channels to describe about more complex data analysis that will help you to make some informed decisions in your businesses, in your research and also in your um, health research and, and medicine related uh, biomedical statistics approach. Okay, this is the idea about the analysis that we are going to be learned and we are going to be shared soon. So bear with us and then please don't forget to follow us um, during this session. And then uh, this is the idea about the statistics and the scale of measurements that will be used if you got this kind of data and then you have this kind of purpose and then um, we also have this kind of idea when we want to make the hypothesis testing so uh, to summarize everything I just want to say that um, statistics is one of the tools that are very important to help a lot of us in making decisions so um, thank you for watching these particular videos and hope you can enjoy it and learn something about the review of statistical concept um, after this, we are going to describe further about the uh, SPSS interfaces and then we are going to explore a little bit about the um, concept of using SPSS in data analysis and run it until we can make some informed decision with that. Thank you very much. See you again in our um, next video. Bye-bye.